Welcome to Good News Heroes on Unite Radio. I'm Valerie. Last time on Good News Heroes, the Tibetan Bible translation was finished, but chaotic events kept the Bible from getting printed. Will it ever get printed? Let's join Piper, Logan, and Uncle Mike to find out. Thanks for taking us to Grandma and Grandpa's, Uncle Mike. No problem. Is this the last stop on your chores for higher fundraising goal? Yep. We got $10 from Mom and Dad for cleaning the garage, $15 from the York family for helping with their garden, $5 for walking Mrs. Porter's dog, $10 from you, and then Grandma and Grandpa promised us $20 for doing their chores. That's five. $60 to support the missionaries coming to Children's Church. Ten more than what we planned. Man, you guys are a fundraising machine. Can we talk about Yusuf Gergen as a reward for helping you with the chores? Uh, your reward was $10. Yeah, but can't we have two rewards? And sure, I can roll with that. Yeah, I want to know if the Bible Society in London could print the Bible after World War II ended. We cannot print the Bible. What is it now? The war is over. I'm sorry, Chandu. I know how important and personal this is to you being from Tibet, but the war is still impacting our work even though it's over. This manuscript was written on fragile Tibetan paper, and because of the war, we don't have the technology or the resources to print it without breaking it. We cannot risk destroying it by accident. This work is too precious to lose. Maybe we cannot print it here, but I know a place that we can. We received a letter from Josef Gergen. He, of course, is anxious to see the Bible printed. And even though the printing has been stalled here, the Bible Society in Lahore, Pakistan, has what they need to print the Bible. They can copy the Bible onto a special paper and then take photographs to ensure the translation is well documented. Since we can't print the Bible here, I think we should send it back to Josef and his team. The Lahore Press is closer to them, and they can oversee the printing. The only problem is getting the fragile manuscript back to them. Now that I can do. Really? How? I've done similar work before. I have a special recipe to protect the paper. It wouldn't work for printing the Bible here, but it does work well for preservation. A special combination of egg yolk and chemicals will seal the Bible so that it will not be easily damaged. That, and the Lord's help, We'll ensure the Bible returns safely to Yosef. Thank you, sir. And once you are done, I will see to it myself that Yosef gets the Bible. It's time for me to go back to Tibet. The Tibetan Bible is so close to print. Who is Shandu? Shandu Ray. He was a pastor from the same area as Yosef. He worked for the Bible Society in London as a secretary for a few years. And now God was calling him to help finish the Tibetan Bible. And God did help the Bible make it back safely to Yosef and his friends. They were able to copy the Tibetan Bible onto the right paper for printing. Now it could go to the press in Pakistan, but there were more delays. Not again. Just hearing about it makes me feel anxious. And I didn't actually have to wait that long. It did make Yosef and the other translators anxious sometimes too. But they had to trust that God had a plan. Yosef was getting older. Did he even get to see the Bible published? Sadly, he didn't. Yosef Gergen died in 1946, before the Bible was published. What? Why didn't God say yes to his prayer to see it published? Shandu Ray asked the same questions. He didn't get the answers right away, but we'll get to that later. Shandu also had to deal firsthand with the frustrations of the delay. Poor Shandu. How did he deal with it in real life? Shandu and the other Tibetan Christians had to trust God. They had many questions throughout the translations, but one thing they always knew was that God was with them. Three times! Three times we tried to send the Bible for printing and nothing! The first copy gets destroyed in a snowstorm. The second one gets lost in the mail. Then a mail worker spilled water onto the third copy and ruined it. Why is this happening? 
How many times can we copy the Bible before it finally gets into the hands of the Tibetans? <gasps> I know, I know why these delays are happening. Our enemy Satan does not want the Bible to be printed. If more Tibetans read the Bible, more people will believe in Jesus, and Satan doesn't want that to happen. He tried to stop other Bible translations in other countries and languages from happening too, like in France and England. But God didn't let him win. Those other languages still got their Bible in God's timing. God wants the Tibetans to have his word, and they will also have it, one way or another. Lord, now a new war has broken out between India and Pakistan. Who will take on such a dangerous journey to get your word to the printer? I need you to show me the person who will do this. Yosef Gergen certainly had beautiful handwriting. These manuscripts are written perfectly. The copying process may have been rather exhausting, but his hard work makes our work today a little easier. Amen, and I appreciate you copying it again, Stepan. Your scribe skills have been a great asset. Once you have finished this copy, we'll have to figure out how to get it to Lahore. Can we not send it through the mail again? I don't think so. The mail system has been unreliable since the war started, and they'd refuse to make the dangerous journey anyway. Someone needs to take the Bible to Lahore personally. I'll do it. Wait! What? Step on, you can't! Why not? You said it yourself. Someone needs to deliver it personally. And I am willing. Besides, I'm well trained in the Tibetan written language. I can help ensure that it is printed correctly. I'm the most qualified person to go. But did you not hear me say it was dangerous? The roads to Lahore from Leh were dangerous enough in times of peace. You might get caught in crossfire between the two armies. And bandits hide in the mountains waiting to attack and rob travelers. And no police or soldiers are there to stop them. And you have your wife and family to think about. They need you. I know it will be dangerous, but I can't stop thinking about how the Bible changed my own life. I met Yosef Gergen as a young man. I was a Buddhist with many questions on how to reach enlightenment and was frustrated and left without answers. But Yosef shared the gospel with me, and when I heard it, my life was changed forever. I want my friends and family back home to read God's word in their own language so their lives can be changed too. I think God wants me to go. It is worth whatever dangers lie ahead. All right, the Bible will be delivered by your hands. God be with you. There, the packages should be secure for your journey. Thank you for all your help, Shandu. Of course. Send us a message as soon as possible when you arrive so we know that you are safe. Of course. Pray for me, brother. We're all praying for you. Lord, please keep Stepan safe. It's been many months since he left for Lahore and we still haven't heard from him. He should have made it by now. I'm afraid for him. Is he still alive? Was this copy of the Bible also destroyed? I don't know if I can take this anymore. Please, Lord, somehow tell us what has happened to Stepan. Coming! Are you Pastor Shandu Ray? Yes. I am a messenger from Kashmir. I have a letter for you. Kashmir? Who do I know there? It's from a man named Stepan. Stepan! <gasps> Come quickly. Come, Lord Jesus. Step on. It is rather short, but he said you would understand what it meant. He also asked me to tell you that the papers are safe. He was afraid to write that in the message. I think he was trying to avoid the attention of the soldiers. The soldiers? Yes. The war has reached Kashmir and the fighting is terrible there. It has become very dangerous. The soldiers suspect everyone of being spies for their enemies. Your friend is safe, well, as much as you can be in Kashmir, but because of the fighting, he cannot leave. I understand, and I do know what the message means. Oh, thank you for bringing it to me. You're welcome, and may your friend be protected. Stepan is trapped in Kashmir, but he is alive, and the Bible is safe. 
Oh, it's a miracle he was even able to send a messenger. Thank you, God. That must be where he has been the last couple of months. The soldiers won't let him leave. I must go rescue Stepan. Yes! Rescue mission! Like a superhero, but for God! And the Bible! Totally! It must have been hard for Stepan. Yup. Shandu, Stepan, and the rest of the Tibetan Christians had to trust God in this rescue mission. But let me guess. We'll find out next time? Yep, because we're here. Will Shandu be able to rescue Stepan? You'll have to wait with Piper and Logan and tune in next time on Good News Heroes to find out what happens. While you're waiting, tune into our video content on Unite TV. Check out the link in the description to view all our videos.